Hello everyone. Today I am going to unbox this Mac 555 Google TV. As you can see, I am showing you the box from around like how it looks when you get the box. And shortly we will open the box and I'll show you the contents. It has the manuals. This is for the power adapter. This is for the box itself. There is QR code you can scan. This is how the box looks when it's packed and you will see it has a remote the remote has all the buttons like a google tv remote this hdmi cable that's the power adapter there's a usb so this is how the box looks from inside this is the on and off button and you can see there are hdmi the power cable button and the cable for the optical connection for the home theater is as well it also has the mounts at the back if you want to mount it on the wall as soon as we connect the power the light will start blinking like this we will also need two AAA batteries in order to make the remote work after we connect it to the TV it will show info mirror and the Google TV logo then we have to pair our remote by clicking the two buttons once the green light turns on we select the region and then we can scan the QR code and set it up with our Google Home app. Then we connect it to our Wi Fi. Once it's connected to the Wi Fi, it will start downloading the system update. Once it's installed, you will go to the next step. I use the 2G network so it's taking some time for me but it won't take long for you once all the updates are done then we'll go to the next step of setting up the box itself after the updates are installed the box will reboot and you will get the info made logo And then it is powered by Google TV so after this upcoming symbol will be of the Google TV it will reconnect to the Wi-Fi once it's done It will ask you for your Google account setup. You just enter your email ID, type your password. If your account has two step verification, you will get a notification on your account to confirm if it's you who is trying to log in to a different device. And once you confirm it here, you will go to the next step. It will ask basic questions like what access you want to give to the Google TV. it's totally your choice to give access or not you can also choose which apps you want at the home screen mind well these apps are only for the app itself but not included with the subscription of the apps once all those settings are done it will take some time to set up your google tv for the first time And once this setup is complete, the next step comes going to the home screen and defining the USB drive as a storage. This is how the home screen looks like, pretty much like a Google TV, but it has its own app which is powered by Informer. We just go to apps and you see you can see all the different apps you need to have subscriptions separately for each of these apps to set up the app for mac 555 we just write m-a-g-i-c 
in the search option and you click search it won't pop up right away you need to scroll to a right yeah there it is magic launcher just launch it install once it's installed open the app it won't take too long to install the app and once it's done next step is you wait for everything to be completed open the app and it will only ask you for one thing portal url you need to provide the portal url or server url provided to you by your provider once you're done do that you just click ok and it will load this is the sign that everything is configured correctly and this is how it looks after it has been done like the setup is pretty much simple it looks like the other mag boxes but the one thing i noticed is like the tv on which i am testing it's like quite a few years old like at least seven to eight years old but if you see the picture quality it's really good so it's worth spending the money on this mag 555 android box google powered thank you for watching the video